It can't be. Their hearts are full of idols. They don't know how a jealous God. Go to the student in your institution. Tell them to repent. It's only me they should serve. But you know I can't. Don't say that. I'm coming. Please. Happy girl. Fitzy, I'm sorry, I eat you. No problem. But where are you rushing to with this speed? Fellowship, of course. Are you coming? Oh, well, I had plans to come. Though. But, well, it's not if I don't want to come. But they are showing some new interesting movies at SUB, like Avatar The Way of Water. For free, oh. So? I can't afford to miss the opportunity. It's not out on any streaming platform. I mean, I don't have money for cinema. Uh, but you know you will miss a very good time in well, service. I'm not going to miss the next service. All right, see you on Thursday. On Sunday. Next fellowship is Thursday. Hey, they are showing another one that day. All right, see you. All right, bye-bye. Like a thousand times already. The stress you cost me is worth it now. Again, I'm sorry. Again, it is appreciated. Please. But we had a full house. Shall last week fellowship, right? Yes, but why do you ask? Like the whole building was full. Yes, it was full. And Everybody had when they announced this week as our fasting week, right? Yes, but some did it right. Many didn't, you mean? Like, members of the fellowship in my faculty. And we are the most populous in the, in the fellowship. That's just your faculty. We have nine other faculties in the fellowship. Serious, Abigail. Even for members in other faculties, like, people no longer want to sacrifice for God. And they claim to be Christians, but their food, movies, and phones are... Their yeah, idols. Exactly. Like when Jesus was speaking about having two masters, it's so sad. Mm. Mm. I had a dream. You dream too? Rose, I'm serious. I had a dream. Okay, okay. Tell me everything. The summarized version, please. So... I entered into a church full of students. They had name tags. Really? So how did you know? Can I finish first? Okay. I saw students. They had graven images right in front of them and they were worshipping it. Is there any church in this institution that does that? Yes. The one at the back of your hostel. Go for it. So I saw an old man. I mean God. Wow. You saw God. Can I finish first? He told me to speak to students of our institute. Wow. So that prophetically means that God wants you to speak to the students of this institution to worship only Him. Yes. And you call that a dream. That's more than a dream, that's an assignment. And it's huge, because I'm not sure. I know, but I can't. Can't what? Can't do it. Why? Because I can't. You are talking like you don't know. I don't understand. 
I have glossophobia. A social anxiety disorder. I have tried all I can to cure it. But for me, I don't think it can be cured. So, glossophobia is the name for fear of facing crowds? Yes, especially when one shakes in front of crowd. Whatever, glossophobia or not, speak like a true believer. All things are possible with God. You are going to make God proud, right? Yes, we are. Then, let's not keep him waiting. But, I don't have a platform yet. And even if I have, I can't do like the pastors do. I can only do spoken word. Have you read the scripture that says, what do you have? Hmm. Don't bother yourself about the platform. Just make do with what you have. And God will provide the platform. Just let's cast all our cares upon him. What will I do without you? Absolutely nothing. You really need to work on your ego. That's very true. Working for God is not really easy. It requires time and a lot of sacrifices. To be honest, as much as I know these truths, I have never done this much. Nine hours before. Was it really up to nine hours, brother? <laughs> you see, whenever I'm designing, especially when it comes to the things of God, I like to give my all. There's no distractions. Even if it means no eating? Yes. Even if it means not eating. I beg that way. No, no. I'm not fasting. Now I see why you are not the most recognized graphic designer in this in the state, even as a student. Well, what can we say? Glory to God. Well, on behalf of the entire media team of this great project, we would like to say thank you. And please don't forget by 5 p.m. tomorrow. Let me talk so as to finish up the coloring. Is this a plan to surprise me? Because I love surprises. <laughs> Oh wow, babe, you no, know, let's just say it's a plan for a good coloring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, how do you get? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Okay. I'm sorry I couldn't call you after our money call, but I'm serious. I've been thinking about you. Mm -hmm. What's that thing you said before you hung up? I didn't hear that part. Well, actually, I said I love you. <coughs> Uh, oh. I'll, I'm just going now. No, okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. So what brought you to church today? Work. Which work? The one I told you about yesterday. Okay. I have a minute to All right. Sir. What work did you speak about yesterday? Uni Learning Christian Creative Conference. Have you forgotten? Oh, now I remember. Does that mean spoken words is allowed to? Of course, it's a Christian um, creative conference now. Okay, cool. So, can I become minister? Of course. But does Abigail do spoken words too? She's like the best I've ever heard. Wow. Alright. Well, I'm pretty close to some of the people hosting it. I'll make sure she's added. Really? Thanks to your ass. She'll be so happy to this. Mm -hmm. Let me tell her. Wait. Okay. The last time you came over to my house, did you take any of my graphic design? I did. I'm mistaken. Why must you always act foolish? I'm sorry. You didn't your more in court today. That is because I thought it was still where I kept it. Not until when I got there and found out that someone was taking it. I'm, I'm sorry. Don't say you're sorry. What is wrong is wrong. Don't do that again. I have to get going. I'm hungry. I have snacks. I don't need snacks. Why are you still with him? What do you mean? I'm not blind, Rose. I saw everything. It's changing. And 
He's a good man. That's what you say all the time, yet I see no change in him. Change takes time. But do you have to wait for him? He loves me and I love him too. I see no love. He's always shouting at you. He has anger issues. And I know he's working really hard. It's just one of those days. It can't pass. Stop making excuses for him. It's causing you more pain than love. Don't you see? Did God really say yes when you asked him about this? I have a surprise for you. Don't cut it off. Let's settle this. You'll be this. ministering in two weeks. No, I will not be. At the Unilorian Christian Creative Conference. How? When? Williams is helping with their designs. And I asked him if he could minister. And he said yes. Wow. And that's the perfect audience. Unilorian students. But how did this happen so fast? Told you God would take care of the platform. Wow, I'm amazed, but where is it going to hold? I think Chapel of the Light. Which Chapel of the Light? How many did you know? The Chapel of the Light I know has over 500 space capacity. Yes. So, like, how many people are they expecting? About 200. Hey! 200! Calm down, calm down, have you girl. Calm down. I'm sorry I can't. Why not? Are you joking with me? Over 200 students. I can't even face 20 students. But we spoke about this yesterday and you said you faced them anyways. I know, but I thought it was going to be something way smaller. Way smaller than 200 students. We spoke about this already. I'm sorry, Rose. I can't. Please do it. For me. I can't boldly face Williams and tell him you are no longer interested. I don't want another fight. Alright, I will. Just know you owe me 50 bottles of energy drink. surprise for you. Are you home? I don't want your surprise. It's a surprise. You don't get to see whether you want it or not. Are you at home? Yes, but I want to pray. How many hours do you plan on using? Like 32 hours. <laughs> now wow. Please pray my own joy. <laughs> I should be done in the next one hour. Alright. Your one hour should be one hour. Don't make me stand for extra two hours. Alright. I won't make you stand too long. Oh, I should not come again. Come, Jerry, later, girl. Ah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for always being there for me. Welcome, oh, my daughter. I need you to stay more in prayer for strength. Ah. My department people mostly always disturbed me. On top of night picnic. Ah, I want to pray, I want to pray. Within 20 minutes, I must pray. Happy girl, focus, focus. Ah. Father. Father, I thank you. Daughter, Father, I, I thank you for you all that you have stay done with for me. me. I, I need, need you Jesus. to stay with me. Oh, I must be done praying in 20 minutes, so. You need to spend more time with me. You have shown me. You Thank you for the assignment that you have placed in my hands. Ah, oh, these people will not kill me. Ah, I'm praying you. Ah. Father Lord. And we are help of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank, Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. So, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning sir. sir. I welcome us to technically our last meeting because next week, Sunday, we will not be meeting again in the evening like this because of the preparation for the program on Monday in the morning. You know, we have to set up the stage and do everything necessary. So, um, I would like us to look into the agenda of the program again. So, can we have it? 
But President, I thought we did that in our last meeting. Yes, we did. Um, but I felt the leading of the Spirit to do one or two adjustments to the order of the program. So, um, Secretary. Yes, sir. Um, can you give us the order of program? Okay, sir. Um, as we planned the last time, we start with um, prayers, praise and worship, and introduction of the guest. Please, before we introduce the guest minister, mm -hmm. I would like us to have something like spoken words. Spoken words. Let's calm down, everyone. Let's calm down. But rather than spoken words, I would suggest we go for special numbers. You know, songs have a better way of charging the atmosphere. Okay. Songs after praise and worship. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Rather than spoken words, I would rather suggest we have a short drama ministration among those we have asked to present. Drama ministration has a way of making the audience alive charged and even make them have a good better look on the program we are about to have. The spoken word is actually better. I think it will work. Then do we all agree for, for the spoken word? Yes. yes. Uh, then, um, so, the secretary. Yes, sir. Do we have people that have registered for the spoken words already? Yes, sir. For now, we have two persons. We have Bro Obito Samson and Sister Adekule Abigail. Mm. Okay. I would like us to have Sister Adekule Abigail. Okay, sir. Firstly. Yes, sir. And then, after the guest speaker, we have Bro Obito Samson. <laughs> Abigail first. Ah, that girl almost died. <laughs> okay. Alright, so after agreeing on this, I would like us to go to the next agenda, which is welfare. Mm. Mm. Alright, so for the welfare, um, we are going to be contributing and a sum of 200,000 euros. Okay. Wow. Okay. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Um, I pray that the Lord will provide. Amen. Amen. To me, drama administration still feels okay. Spoken words seems funny to me. Abigail, open this door. Do you want to break my door? I've been banging this door for like forever. I've been chatting now. But you said you wanted to pray. Yes, but well, you see this my department people. They be disturbing me see, because of ordinary picnic. You know the picnic I told you about now. Now what for you? Let's get straight to the business. Straight to what? The solution. To what? To fear. There is no solution, my sister. Thanks to God, I came with three solutions. Oh my God. The first, book by best-selling author. <sighs> How do you want me to finish this book before next week, Monday? Today is Tuesday. Dry scholar. Is reading on your hobby? I cannot finish 2,000 pages. I do not need this now. Two more to go. Next solution, please. I have an uncle who is a physiotherapist. And he's really good with his stuff. A physiotherapist? So he can mess with my brain? No, so he can help you. The last physiotherapist my family member met with messed with her brain to the extent that he made her divorce her husband just to marry him. That is no physiotherapist. That is a wife snatcher. And that's like one in a million. Besides, there are good people among these guys. Really? It can pass. Please, next solution. Okay. Um, before I go to that, have you tried checking the scriptures about this issue? I don't think that's what I need. And I feel it's even too late, Seth. It's never too late for the scriptures. Next solution, please. Okay. Please choose this one. How will I choose it when I don't know it? Alright. So, we get a smaller audience who will help boost your confidence and also 
give you courage before the did day. And how are you planning to get the smaller audience? A unit in the fellowship. Which unit Ed would give you such an audience? Bro, James unit. Drama unit coordinator. Those funny people. You want them to make jest of me happy? No, they are not funny people. They are Christians acting the word of God. And that's probably the best option. No way, I'm not doing it. Please, this won't hurt you. Rosemary, no way, I'm not doing it. Cut! Alright. So, I'll come and meet for the editing back. Good job, yeah. Who is saying that now, bro? I'm just... I'm just I'm already ready now. now. Good evening, bro, James. Good evening. Why are you dressed like this? Oh, you like it? No, we don't. Me, I had to shoot his kids for the drama unit and um, I had to dress as the devil. Does everything have to do with the devil? Everything has to do with the devil, my sister. We must deal with him, we must break him. Thank you, thank you, bro, James. We fully comprehend your message, but... Are you helping us or not? All right. Um, so you need my members because you're about to face a breakout, which you can't do normally because you have glossophobia. Glossophobia. I will help you, but you don't mind, though. I mean, why are you doing it if it's something you're struggling with? Well. God gave me a mission and nothing is going to stop me, not even my greatest fear. So you are men that love him like that? We will be many that will love God like that. Okay, um, we'll help you, but I feel we should do a little Bible study and, you know, and check what the Bible says about this issue. I feel it will provide more help than, more than my drama unit will ever have to give you. Well, I'm not in need of that. I only need your drama unit members. <laughs> but... We always need the Bible. Are you helping us or not? Listen. Um, alright. You know, I don't remember some meeting by 5 p.m. on Thursday. I hope I don't even have classes by then. You don't. Your classes finishes by 3 p.m. every Thursdays. Ah, oh yes. I even know your time table better than you do. So, thank you, sir. Alright, so I should be done in 15 minutes. But let me try to pray. Yes, yeah, And I was strengthening. No, Jerry, no time. Ah, no time, no time. I can do this later. I don't need to worry. You want to do this without me? See if you can do this on your own. Hey. Um, my people are already waiting for you. Alright, I'll be on my way. Alright, no problem. I can do this. Since you can do it on your own. I'm going to do great today. Yes, I know I will. That's my girl. Flora! Oh, hi! Hi! And you are tea here today. Really? Yes. What are you doing here? When Oga told me that Abigail will be ministry, I knew you would come. What? I had no idea you were in drama in I have been for a while, but I don't act often. Oh, wow. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Star Abigail, I can't wait to see you. Yes, ma'am. Who is that? That's William Jolia's sister. Oh. That reminds me. William said you will be ministering immediately after praise and worship. When is the praise and worship starting? At the beginning of the service. I'll be ministering at the beginning of the service. At the beginning. Oh, I can't. No, I can't. You can't. You can't. How about I can't. You can't. That's why we are here. Just, just come. 
Okay. Oh, I hate the calm. Calm down. Calm down. Just calm down. Alright? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Alright, so you can come in now. Okay. She okay? Yes, yes. Alright, you can come in. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can do this. Yes, we'll help you. Just focus on the now. Okay. That's okay. All right, all right, all right, everybody. Thank you very much. Um, so, uh, Spoken Word Artist is coming already. Now, can we celebrate? Sister. Mm -hmm. But you know I'm still working on myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not perfect. What, what about working out things together? There's nothing to be worked out. Okay. I've lost enough okay, staying with you. Okay. Please, I'm sorry. Okay, don't please. call me. Don't okay. don't text me. Just just okay, get out. Anger. 
this pride, this arrogance. They run in my veins. And they rule me food. I want to change. What else must I do? What else must I do? I really want to change. What else must I do? Is there no way out for me? Am I cost like this forever? What else must I do? Is this the way you want me to live? I did sorrows to the life of men. I want to change. Don't try to. You see, the reason you are failing is because you are trying to. Then what must I do? Submit to the leadership of the Spirit. Let the Spirit lead you to the change. How, how does someone do that? By staying in His presence, studying what the Bible says about this issue. And you cause. Ah, no, 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 no. Jesus has been caused, so you won't be. You see, you are not a slave. As long as you believe, you are a king. You are more than a conqueror. I've offended God a lot. Can He still forgive me? Can He still help me? As long as you are willing to turn back to me, He will always help. Yes. Then just say with me. Father, Father, I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And I come to you today. And I come to you today. So that you can cleanse me. So that you can cleanse me. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. And I accept you as my Lord and Savior. And I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you because I know that you have accepted me. Thank you because I know. That you have accepted me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. He will never leave me. Thank you so much. He loves 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 you so much. How do you feel? God, why? Why give me such a mission? I gave you a mission. I never asked you to start. Sir, why then did you show me? I showed you my plan for you. I never said go. Must I wait for you to ask me to go before I go? Do you plan to go without me? I came to you to ask for help. But you never said anything. I never said anything because you never allowed me. I never allowed you. You came to me, but you never waited on me. Your heart is full of distraction. When your eyes is single, your body Do you want to know my thoughts about this issue? Yes, I do. You were distracted. You were not of course. And you know, you didn't study the scriptures. I don't think that's what I need now. I think I need prayers more. Oh my girl, you need both. You need prayers and you need to study the world. But God, I need strength because it's not really easy. You must trust me for strength. You have my attention now. What must I do? Wait on me. 
study the scriptures and pray to be empowered. Holy Spirit, they empower me. Lord, they empower me in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, they empower me. Holy Spirit, they empower me. Like the Vela Gadabadova. Iki Taka, Tila Gadabadova. Holy Spirit, they empower me. Yes, no problem. At least you'll be like the middle man. <laughs> Alright, um, what about Bro Williams? He's fine. Okay, we are no longer together. So. Yeah, but you know he's a changed man, right? Oh, he told you? No, no, he didn't tell me that, actually. But that same day, I went to the chapel and I saw him crying. Really? I'm serious. <laughs> Wow. Yes. Uh, he was crying to God that he wanted to change. Mm. And I actually, I told him not to. I told him to submit to the relationship of the Spirit and let God lead him through the change by staying in the presence of God and studying the Word. And he dedicated his life to Christ. Wow. He's actually calling. Wow. Okay. Look, I wanted to apologize for what I did. I've really hurt you and um, Abigail. Yeah. You both didn't deserve it. Especially you. I've really hurt you so bad. I'm really, really sorry. Even with all you want to do for me, you do it. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm sure that I hurt Jesus more than that. And he forgave me, so he yeah, forgive me. I hope you know things can go back to the way they were. Yeah, can I ask one thing? Anything. Who is that? It's me. Plus James. The door is not locked. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry I ought to. I'm sorry I ought to too. I should have listened to you. It's not a problem anymore. I broke up with him. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it looks like I'm happy about it. Bro, James, welcome. I was brought here as the middleman. Your services are no longer needed. Can you imagine? Rose, can I ask you a question? Anything? Did God really give you a clear yes when you asked him about this? No. I knew it. He said no. No, I didn't ask. You didn't what? He seemed like a nice guy. He was cool and always working passionately for God and had always admired him. So. Love is too small a weight to judge big issues like relationship. 
God looks at the inside while you look at the outside. He looks at the future beyond now, but you look at it now. Is it every relationship that God says yes to that works? Yes, normally in the sight of God. But because we are humans, it reduces to a percentage of 75% probability. So what happens to the remaining 25%? God saying yes to a relationship doesn't mean that there won't be challenges and misunderstandings between both parties. And most times, a lot of people fail to understand this and it is only left to a 75% chance. Bro James said he went back to pick something in the church that day and he met Williams crying. For what? For God to help him. And he did. How? I made him understand that he should let God lead him to the change. And actually, he rededicated his life. He told me the same thing, and I believe him, because he actually called to apologize. That's good news, but hope. Oh, no, of course not. We are no longer together. I have a surprise for you. I don't want any of your surprises. Trust me, you love this one. Williams told me you'll no longer be ministering immediately after prison worship. You'll be ministering much later. That's if you still want to minister. Any works for me. I am no longer scared. Really? <laughs> how? I mean, how did it happen? God has helped me. God gave you boldness. He gave me much more than boldness. He gave me power. Wow. wow. Okay, okay. How did it all happen? Just me. It's a long story. Long story, short story, even if it has a prologue, I want to hear everything. <laughs> <laughs> Take a moment. Ask within you. Who 
Thank you.